Hello everyone, let's see what's new in the Asset Management 217 release. We added two awesome features. Uh, the first one is the custom import. With this one, you will be able to import a part of an asset. For example, on this asset, I have uh, pictures, shaders, uh, objects, groups, etc. And you will be able to choose which one you want to import. To activate the tool, you click on this icon and you will have this list. If your asset have uh, images, material, not trees, you will be able to import them. If not, uh, you will not have them here. You will just have object. So, if for example, I want to import uh, a shader, I will click on material. And I will click on custom import. I will have a list of the material of the asset. And I will be able to select uh, one, two, or uh, several, like this. And click to import okay, them with OK. So now, as you can see, I imported them directly in my scene. This is really useful. You can also check by name, like this, etc. And directly do this. And you will have your, object, your material uh, in the scene. OK. You can import object. Right here, I have uh, several objects. Uh, I can select those one, click OK. And as you can see, there are in my scene. Yep, right there. You can, if you want, uh, use the link to import them the same, linked, as you can see here. So as you can see, this is really, really useful. You can also do this with the scene. With the scene, you have more options. You can uh, import everything you want if uh, there is something uh, possible. You can, for example, select uh, object, click on custom import, and import directly the object. Like this. Linked. Because I was on link here. Yep. I will remove them, and I will import them. Once again, and that will be okay. So as you can see, with assets and scene, you can do uh, whatever you want. You can import part of uh, the asset, and this is really useful. The second awesome feature is the custom file pass. With this one, you can create a library directly in your project. If you have a project, you want a library with assets, for example, you, ju you just have to create a library and you will be able to switch between this library and the main library here. To do this, you have to go in the preferences and activate the use custom file pass in the option tab. You will now have this list and you will be able to create directly. If you are on the main library, you will be able to create a new library like this one, uh, select the file pass, name it, enfin, le file pass, ok, uh, name it, select the file pass, choose uh, the type of library you want, asset, scene, materials, and libraries, and click ok. And now, I have my new library in the my project, and I can add assets, scene, material, and HDRI. You can, if you want, edit it, or remove it. If you want to remove it, you just have to click remove, like this, and the library is gone. But everything is gone, so uh, be careful uh, with this. You can, if you want, switch between libraries and edit them with the edit button. You can change the name if you want. You can uh, add or, rem or remove types. For example, add, I have nothing here because uh, I have everything here. And I can remove uh, part of I want. If I don't want scene, I don't want material, I don't want HDRI, I click OK. And I will just have assets. You can also, in the library, create categories, etc., etc., like previously. This is really useful, and you can create, a switch between libraries, like this, import your asset, Edit it and directly uh, add it to your new library. This one, for example, I select everything, click OpenGL. Uh, I will set up a render. I will name it. And I click OK. 
So now I have my new asset in my custom library for my project. And I can edit it. And I click OK. I have everything here. So as you can see, those two features are really useful and I hope you will enjoy them. And uh, next, uh, next time you will see uh, something really great. Bye bye.